it's been a while since I've uploaded an AMV edit tutorial. So here you go. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a shake for your edits. First what you want to do is sync your clips according to the beat. Here is what I have achieved. Fuck that, we can go M for M. What I know for the Maybach. Uh, also, I have a few clips as this is just for example purposes, but the main purpose of this video is to show you how and where should you add your shake. Also before continuing, uh, you must have already noticed that this is a uh, flow edit. Uh, it's a going to be, it's a potential flow edit. Before I continue, be sure to check out these guys. They are absolute beasts in Filmora, so I have linked their channels in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Alright, so the first part is where to add the shake. So for that, you must judge your clips and uh, let's go one by one to judge the clips. So the first clip, you can see that there's already a mild shake going on here, so we don't need any shake over here. Then this comes in and here an impact shake would look nice. If you guys want a tutorial on impact shake, be sure to comment down below. And then I introduce another clip by increasing the opacity. And since this guy over here is uh, moving with speed, so I've connected this with another guy doing the same stance in the same position. So it kind of flows and syncs perfectly. And then since he's about to go forward, I continue that motion of speed by using the speed ramping tool. And if you guys also want a tutorial on the speed ramping tool, then be sure to comment down below. And this is where I'm going to add my shake because here is the most tension and to increase that uh, to increase that tension I'm gonna be adding my shake over here so let's go on with our shake so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna be aiming for a continuous and heavy shake that is gonna last a few frames and then gonna drop down uh, gradually what we want for this is chaos 2 and I'm just gonna be turning off the RGB over here so what the frequency which you want for this is 170 or 175 then uh, 0.03 would be good for position axis and we want more shake in the Y axis so for that I'm gonna be taking 0.37 or 0 0.4 0 0.5 whatever works for you and yeah so these are the settings and I don't need to keyframe them as they just drop down gradually. So if you look at the clips now. So if it's a bit too much what you can do is reduce the values or reduce the frequency. Yeah so reducing the frequency looks better over here. And if I reduce the position and uh, the Y a little bit. Yeah, so it looks better. Uh, and also the settings that I've told you uh, won't work on every clip, obviously. So be sure to tune them, fine tune them according to the clip that you have. Uh, I've lowered the values over here as it just follows a constant theme. So yeah. So this was the continuous shake. I used chaos with these values over here. You can take a screenshot. Also this effect uh, would look better when lasting around half or even one second as it just drops down gradually. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one.